the film is basically showcasing how the electronic music scene has been like a rites of passage for people, almost like a modern day shamanism, and then it highlights a lot of the different communities um, across Canada and the states that have been contributing to the community and helping it evolve to what it is today. Um, and it includes some local Calgary people as well as people from BC as well, so it's really great film to support. Um, and then we're going to have an awesome full moon party after, uh, lots, of, lots of awesome music, live performances, art, um, and basically the tickets right now we've sold out for the film, um, but we do have after party tickets still available for $15, either through Eventbrite or through myself, and I have some available tonight if you guys are interested. Um, highlights. DJ Honey Mustard, Nocturnal, Busy Beats doing some live beatboxing, one of our own, and as well as Bass Pad and one of our own doing an awesome set. We're going to have like live looping, PK Sound, Bass Bus is going to be there, setting up the bus as a chill space with live ambient sets, so it's going to be pretty amazing. And I hope that everyone can make it out. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to touch on a couple topics. One I've already mentioned before is uh, Calgary Time Bank. We're really trying to get this one going. I think we're up over 40 members already. So we've got people joining it. We just need people to start using it as well. So putting up um, what services you have to offer. So basically this is a platform where you can go on and create an account and um, Everybody is equal, so everybody's time is equal. So one hour of time from somebody else means one hour of time for you. So every time you maybe cut somebody's hair, you get an hour credit, and then you can use that to hire a plumber to come fix something. So we're trying to get this one going. Uh, there's a bunch of benefits to it, strengthening the community, the resilience of the community, uh, helping support local talent, and establishing real relationships with people that aren't based on a transaction. And then this is a list of a whole bunch of the different topics that you can uh, sign up for. So don't think you don't have any skills because I'm pretty sure everybody would have a ton of these you can offer to drive people to the airport if they needed random yard work. So I encourage everybody to check it out. And the website is right there, calgary.timebanks.org. Just a really quick plug for that. Uh, our website is evolver.net and you can also find the Evolver Calgary group on Facebook. And I wanted to share something I read the other day that I think really rang true because I find it really inspiring how such a diverse group of people can come together and have such quote unquote taboo conversations about topics that we don't normally talk about because we're afraid that they're going to bring up anger and resentment and this conflict by really pointing out where we're different. But it takes a lot of maturity and openness to do what we're doing and have these conversations. So this kind of relates to that. To set the stage here, he is talking to somebody about the difficulty of communicating with words and language and how there's always going to be misinterpretations because of everybody's filter that they have on what they perceive and that is even further degraded when you have written language. So there's even more of a loss in written language, but that's setting the stage here. In addition to the difficulties of communication with the words, there are special problems involved with conveying spiritual concepts and universal truths. It is written that because of the duality of the plane we exist in here on Earth, and the limitations of our ability to really understand the infinite oneness that is the universe, the closest we can get to ultimate truth is still only half true. That means that the highest truths I can really explain to you here, even in person, are still half untrue. Thus, if you try, you can find another half truth that conflicts with it and argue the truth of either of them. For instance, it can be truthfully argued that our future is predestined. It can also be truthfully argued that we can change the future. 
They are totally opposing concepts which seem to make the opposite concept impossible to be true. Such opposing true concepts are called paradox. Paradoxes contain seemingly conflicting half-truths that are true in and of themselves, and while one truth may seem to make the other impossible to be true, the greatest truth is actually revealed when both half-truths are understood as a whole, even though that doesn't necessarily make sense when analyzed logically. Since paradoxes often contain the greater truth within their conflicting half-truths, they are the closest thing to full truth that we can convey with intellectual minds. Yet they, yet they cannot really be understood with the intellectual mind. A paradox must be intuitively or spiritually grasped and understood. Many people choose to believe or focus on one concept within a paradox over the other. Thus, they lose the whole truth. For instance, in regards to the future, they may be either fatalists, thinking all things are destined, or they may believe the future is totally unwritten. As we know, neither are true, and both are true. You should grasp and accept a paradox intuitively. It cannot be truly grasped with only the intellect. Thus, an adept understands that both concepts are true simultaneously. For instance, regarding the particular paradox Gabriel was using as an example, we simultaneously know after something has happened, what has happened was destined to happen. After all, it did happen. Period. That is absolutely true, is it not? Yet we also simultaneously know that through free will, everyone alters and creates the future. Period. That too is absolutely true, is it not? Each concept opposes the other. It would seem that they cannot both be true, and yet they are. Even though it may not be logically, intuitively having both beliefs simultaneously allows us to understand the broadest truth about events that may take place in the future. As far as total, pure, ultimate truth, we can really only get it when we are out of body in a higher spiritual consciousness that knows, not just intellectually thinks it understands. So an example of this is this car. From this point of view, the car looks like it's totally pristine condition. But somebody standing on the other side sees this, and they can argue the opposite. But when you take a step back, from a higher perspective, you can see that both individuals are simultaneously correct and incorrect. So, thank you. So the first thing that's going to start the night off is a Curitan guitar performance. I didn't get the person's name, sorry. Adam. Adam. Good evening, thank you.